So we begin our session initially by analyzing the IIT JAM paper pattern. The paper consists of approximately 60 questions, micro, macro, math, uh, statistics, and Indian economics included. There are three sections. Section A has 30 MCQ, which has basically 10 MCQ, 10 marks each. And the other 20 will be two marks each. So talking about the paper pattern, it's important for you to know how the paper is segregated out in terms of the different sections. So in terms of the first section of IIT JAM that contains MCQs, the topics can be any. It can be math, it can be eco, it can be Indian eco, everything combined. GK, right? So I'm only talking about uh, whether the questions are MCQ or MSQ or NAT currently. And I'm not uh, uh, going into the topics which appear in each of the section. Any topic can appear in any of the uh, three sections. There is no segregation like the IIT gate that section A will only ask you general aptitude. Section B will only ask you uh, reading and comprehension. There is no segregation of that sort in IIT jam. Any topic can be asked in any of the three sections. So section A is 50 marks. MCQ, first 10 questions one mark each, next 20 questions, two marks each, 50 marks, section A. Section B, 10 multiple select questions, MSQ. So multiple answers can be correct. So here the answers are normally AB, AD, CBD. Okay, so it can be anything. Here, each and every question carries two marks. So 20 marks here. And section C, 20 questions, NAT type, you need to enter the answer. They will give you a blank. In the blank, you will have to enter the answer. Okay. Normally, if the answer is in a decimal, they give you a range that like if you enter the answer, anything between 2.6 to 2.8, you will get marks. So range value questions are also there. Okay. This is basically 10 questions, one mark, 10 questions, two marks. So this is 30 marks. All in all, IIT jam is for 100 marks, 50, 20, and 30, right? Now to talk about the negative marking, the one mark question will have a negative mark of one third, two marker will have a negative of minus two by three. The MSQ and the NAT questions have no negative marking, but please understand that you get full marks only if you mark all the correct options. So if the answer is A and C, if you mark only A or only C, you'll, have, uh, you'll not get half marks. Okay, so <clears throat> if the answer is A and C, you will have to mark A and C both in order to get the two marks. Otherwise, you'll get a big laddu. Understood? So 100 marks is what is the total. Usually, it has been seen that in order to attain an IIT Delhi or an IIT Roorkee, IIT Delhi especially getting a net score of about 53, you should be comfortable. And IIT uh, Rudki, it has been seen approximately 47 has been a comfortable score in order to get into IIT Rudki. Right. So these are the average cutoffs that you can expect. This is the IIT Delhi safe score for the general category. I'm talking about the general category here. Right. IIT Delhi safe score for the general category. In case the paper is Standard. In case the paper is easier, obviously this cutoff will increase. And if the paper is more difficult, the cutoff will decrease. Okay. This does not mean that your aim for the examination should be 53. Please don't do that. Your aim should not be 53. Your aim should be 70. If you aim for 70, then you will reach 53. So your aim has to do at least 70 marks in the paper confidently. Okay. Your aim has to be around 70 marks for the IIT jam to be able to do it confidently. Okay. Any questions regarding the paper pattern and the cutoff? This is an approximate cutoff. It can go up or down depending on easy and difficult. So this in short is the paper pattern and this is how you are going to attempt the paper. <laughs> So you will come across IIT jam uh, questions where the answer can be within a range, right? So they'll tell you that put in the answer uh, closest to the second decimal place. Okay. So if you get an answer, say 
2.7 it will be corrected in a way that iit jam will be saying that if any student answers between 2.6 to 2.8 so if you answer 2.6 it shall be correct if you answer 2.8 it shall also be correct if you answer 2.7 it should also be correct if you answer 2.65 it shall be correct if you answer 2.58 it should be incorrect you will not get marks that is what it means so some of the questions will be finding out up to one decimal place put your answer in the blank so you need to enter the answer it's about those questions now let me discuss with you section wise paper analysis of iit jam this is extremely important so we have analyzed all the iit jam papers available iit jam began in the year 2021 so there are three papers available 2021 2022 and 2023 and we have analyzed which topics how how many questions what is the weightage of a topic so on and so forth and we have seen a few things we have noticed that about 50 percent of the paper is micro and macro with micro having around 20 percent and macro having 30 percent approximately the exact percentage that has come out in the last three years is 21.4 percent and 32.1 so approximately 53.5 uh, percent in the IIT jam has featured from micro and macro. Statistics and mathematics is about 20 percent each. So if you take a look at this micro macro combined 50 percent, statistics 20 percent, mathematics 10 percent, sorry mathematics 20 percent approximately and Indian economy which will include GK which will include development economics, which will include HDI questions, growth economics, everything included will be about 10% of the paper. So we can expect out of 100 marks, 20 micro, 30 macro, 20 statistics, 20 mathematics, and 10 from the GK and other development economic areas. So this is an extremely important picture that you should have in your brain. Ki kya cheez ka kya weightage hai, okay? Calculators may be allowed, may not be allowed, normally allow nahi karte hai. I have already told you, expect the best, prepare for the worst, right? So expect kariye ki un log by mistake allow kar de to apne saath mein le jaiye na. Okay? But normally ye dekha gaya hai ki online examination mein side mein they open up a kota sa calculator, us mein aap easily kar sakte hai calculations. Agar nahi le kar aap ko jane dega, to apne bag mein rakhe rahiye. But prepare for it, okay? Indian economy ka enough material aap loge paas mein hai. If you are a student at EduSure, you have enough material which is also updated time and again for Indian economy and development economics. So, paper pattern kya samaj mein aya? IIT Jam ka paper pattern samaj mein aya? The weightage is about 20% micro, 30% macro, 20-20 math and uh, statistics each and 10% for the GK and the development economics part. GK ke liye how do you prepare? You cannot prepare. I will give you the answers to all the GK questions. A, B, you will get many notes on the Indian economy and the GK part, which you have to read in your free time mein as a storybook. Hai. I know it's not at all like a storybook, it's very boring, hai, but force yourself to do something. Aadha every day, that's good enough.